All right, today is March the 31st, 2016. I'm watching the uh, Northeast Pacific Water Vapor Loop, and right now at 9 o'clock in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a barometric pressure of 29.98, which is the same as yesterday. We have a temperature right now of 56 degrees. The relative humidity is 53%, and the uh, dew point is 39 degrees. All right, so today we had uh, chemtrails in the skies starting about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That is because we have a moisture field wrapping up around on the jet stream right here and right back down through uh, Idaho, Nevada, and into California. So we have an opportunity for cooler, damper weather. We can see all that moisture moving right down into the uh, Southern California area. And those jets are out spraying. Uh, they were out about 2 o'clock in the afternoon onward all the way till past sunset. All right, next we have a, a, a square feature right here. This is a, a, we have a phased array radar right here that is focusing heat right on the back side of this uh, front. And we can see that square, that uh, right angle. Actually, this is a square because they're heating the core, and that is affecting this entire front. We have almost a straight edge right along on that one side. We just put a CD wrapper right here. We can see that that is nearly perfect straight edge right there. All right, so if we stop the uh, this is almost a perfect right angle right here in about an hour or so in about two more frames, which is about an hour, we'll see a perfectly formed right angle right here. All right. And we can see that uh, that is also affecting the jet stream down here. We have a, a channel that has uh, been formed here as a result of all this heat from that radar right here. It is cutting a path right through there. And we have man-made high pressure all through this area. That is affecting the this uh, front from getting into this jet stream moisture field from moving right into uh, California. All right, let's look at the... Uh, Infrared loop, you can see that uh, square front, right angle front, uh, shaping up right there. And we have, uh, we can see that moisture diving down through Nevada. All right, let's take a look at the uh, western U.S. water vapor loop. We can see uh, better what's going on. We've got a disruption right here in the jet stream flow. And then this portion is moving up and around and right back down into California. That's why that's why the jets are up spraying. Otherwise, we'd be getting a lot of rain. This would be a, a nice opportunity. This jet stream would be moving straight into California. They've got a blockade here. This is almost two weeks old and high pressure. Let's take a look next at the uh, jet stream. You can see what's happened here. That got a horseshoe pattern that's been disconnected from the main. Uh, flow. This is what's wrapping around all that moisture moving right into California. This has been cut off here. If we go back and take another look at the uh, big map, we can see that what they've done here is the fact that this is moving around and right back into California. When they cut this off here, that will effectively stop the, the flow feeding this segment of the jet stream right here. So they've got, they've got this uh, cut off right here. You can see that, and that's going that will eventually <clears throat> end the uh, moisture field moving into uh, California. All right, let's take a look at the uh, surface analysis map, and we can see the uh, high pressure offshore is is rebuilt. Yesterday, this was a much much smaller area of high pressure, and today it's up up been pumped up to a thousand and twenty two millibar. And 1,025 down here, right off uh, Southern California, right here. We have a huge trough indicated, <clears throat> and we have a 979 millibar low. Developing gale indicated right here. We have another trough here, which is moving uh, to the uh, east. Okay. No rain in the forecast. We had a grand total of about 0.125 inches, one-eighth of an inch. All that weather that we were showing last week just didn't bring anything but about an eighth of an inch. All right, let's take a look 
Uh, next, at uh, some of these pictures that I have of L.A., this is uh, Hollywood in 1953. We notice the sky. There's there's no chemtrails. I have a few of these pictures yet that I haven't shown. I just wanted to uh, run through them. This is a uh, farmer's market in 1964 down on Fairfax and uh, 3rd Street, I think, somewhere around there. Let's see the farmer's market. Here's a 61 a Chevy Impala. All right, no chemtrails. We have a lot of natural clouds up here, but no chemtrails. Here is a television station, KCOP. This was in 1970. And look at the blue sky. Not a cloud or a chemtrail anywhere. All right. Let's take a look next at the... Uh, here is Los Angeles. We're, we're looking uh, in a sort of an east-southeast direction. And uh, this was in 1975, and we can see that there's no no aerosols anywhere. <clears throat> okay, here's another shot of Hollywood in 1950. This is looking north on Highland Avenue, and uh, no chemtrails. And uh, right up here is Franklin, right at that corner. There's a, a giant hotel. I think it's a big Holiday Inn right along here now. Giant 50-story uh, building. All right, here is the Capitol Records building in 1974, November of 1974. This was a promotional uh, photo, I think, for the Beatles. And we can see the skies. There's no, no uh, chemtrails anywhere. Got the Hollywood sign right there. Okay, here's another shot uh, somewhere in Hollywood, uh, 1952, and uh, no chemtrails, just a blue sky, more or less. Had a lot of smog in those days, but no, no, uh, no chemtrails. All right, here's a shot of uh, Westwood, looking, uh, looking at, towards Westwood, and uh, this was taken in 1961. All right, and here's another shot of Hollywood. This is a Sunset Boulevard and a Clark Street, and that is the uh, the Whiskey, which is a nightclub. Right here we have a Shell gas station, and look at the price: thirty-five point nine cents, thirty-one point nine cents, nineteen seventy. All right. Okay, here's another shot uh, in Hollywood, nineteen fifty. This was taken. And we can see no no chemtrails anywhere. Here's a shot of the Pantages Theater on Hollywood Boulevard, and sometime in the 1960s, uh, no chemtrails anywhere. Okay, and finally we have a shot of Ocean Boulevard in Santa Monica, and this was taken in uh, 1950. You see the cars here. It looks like about a 56 Chevy or Buick, something like that. No chemtrails. This nice clear sky. We can see some uh, clouds right offshore here, uh, cumulus clouds right along this line right here. Got the Palos, Verde, Palos Verdes Estates, uh, Palos Verdes Peninsula right here in the background. And over here we can see some uh, cumulus clouds right down over here. No chemtrails. So this is interesting. All these pictures that we find from uh, 30 and 40, 50, 60 years ago uh, proves that uh, these jets are, are not leaving natural clouds at all. This is not water vapor. It's a poison. It's chemicals that are lowering the relative humidity and sponging up the atmospheric moisture. Okay, so that's the uh, report for today, a summary. And uh, we will uh, keep an eye on things. Uh, we keep an eye on that uh, right angle front that's shaping up right here. In about an hour, we'll do another video on that if I can get a good shot of it. But uh, tomorrow we can expect to see a lot more aerosols being sprayed because of what's happening here. We have a big horseshoe uh, flow pattern right here. Okay, so that's it.